Bones Squad, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing some more Greenville future updates. In this like series, we review future updates that are coming out to Greenville. Also, before we actually begin this video, I am not a Greenville developer, so I have no information on when these updates are being released. So do not ask me in the comments when these are being released, because I have actually absolutely no information. But yeah, just before I actually start this video, I want to let you know that we actually stopped at this camera on my last video not unlike the last video but i i recorded a video like a few days ago and it's supposed to upload sometime next week or next weekend and i don't feel like re-recording that video so yeah we're gonna start from here to the bottom but if you guys would like me like to see me review these vehicles to like the bottom to the top um, i'll have a video coming out probably this weekend or this week showing you guys about those vehicles because yeah i really i really wanted to review this like thing that's coming up to greenville so yeah we're gonna go ahead and review this for uh the game and let's go see what happens anyways here's today's video shout out and if you're one of these people you can subscribe going to go to fish and these one ever make sure to buy some of the farmers these link in the description as always but yeah anyways now it's time to adventure the things that are coming to greenville let's go Anyways, first we actually stopped at the Camry, so we're gonna go be like below the Camry. So we have the 2021 Alcra TLX base, the technology package, a spec package, advanced package, and Type S modeled by Sky. I don't even know who that is, but yeah. Here's the Victor name. And here's the vehicle. This is like a remodel. I can't tell if this is like a, mo a remodel because I, I kind of like remember seeing this in game. I could be wrong about that, but I don't know. I just think this is like a vehicle that's already been game and like like something that has been remodeled or something like that. But yeah. Anyways, a long while ago, I detailed some information about the changes to via to private servers and the introductions of custom servers to make things more streamlined i've changed how they will work instead of having three tier tiers of private slash custom service one of which being roblox's free private slash vip servers it is now going to go as follows roblox private plus vip servers will be completely free light admin commands similar to now including for the owner no drive to earn certain cer certain amount of players can join works like any roblox private server invite friends use link etc custom servers in game server menu can be listed publicly in a server menu if wanted will allow for the for the customized description previously like certain rp events triggers prop car count fuel drain placing structures more advanced admin with permissions support bands cars etc still likely to have the same pricing as previously described high tier of custom server but now is the only tier for more detail you can find my previous post about it but ignore the tier that we're no longer using note this feature is not ready and won't be ready for a few updates but we're trying to get it out finally so laggier players can use free vip servers and rp groups can have a way better experience that's honestly pretty cool for rp servers um Honestly, I'm waiting for this for OG VRP because you guys already know I'm an OG VRP staff member. I'm currently waiting for this update to come out because I want to see like the new UI and things like that. So yeah, I'm actually pretty excited for this update. And you also you get like a free VIP server. So right now I do own a VIP server for Greenville. So yeah. Anyways, let's continue. Next vehicle we have is the 2019 Bulk Buick. Buick. Premium and Sport Touring with two RAM options modeled by hunter hunter gamer anyways official name here it is bronson and yes it has an interior and no it will not have the right configure with the windows clear rather block blacked out like the rest of the topped convertibles both will be able to have an had with interior sport touring get seats black seats i mean black chrome 
body painted in some areas, whereas Premium gets all chrome and tan seats. This car includes LED lighting, Apple Cannibal on the real life in car. Nice. But yeah, here's the vehicle. Let me know what your guys' opinion is on this vehicle. Honestly, the interior is really cool. I mean, I actually really drive this vehicle. Probably. I mean, honestly, I don't know if I'll drive like the like the, this, but I really like the detail inside of the vehicle because honestly, Greenville is like actually putting more detail into their vehicles, which I'm actually pretty happy for. Because like like all the vehicles in Greenville like don't have like this type of thing, like where vehicle this vehicle has like interiors. So yeah. I don't know if I really like the open top. I kind of like the closed top because you guys can see like there's an interior and like this kind of looks like a tan color. I really like the tan like, on the seats because it honestly looks really realistic to me. But yeah. Anyways, here's also another look. Pretty cool. Oh, I see LED right there. Nice. Anyways, let's go. And yes, it really pops this out for a seatbelt in game when you get in. So I'm thinking there's going to be like a seatbelt animation, maybe, I'm not confirming that, but there may be a um, seat animation. That'd be pretty cool if that actually does happen. So, yeah. Anyways, here's a poll, which I think this is already won because honestly, you see how many people voted that? 1,810 people voted that, while for the other one, there's 728 votes. But yeah, anyways, let's continue. Next, we have the 2022 Ford Bronco refreshed with slightly trim corrections. Five new trims, base, big Ben, black, diamond, outer banks, and wild track, modeled by Sky, refreshed by that person, Jams. Sorry if I do get your name wrong, but yeah, here's the fixture name, if you guys would like to know. Did I ever give up? Okay, yeah, I did. Okay, um, here's the video, like, dude, this name. Yeah, whenever I saw this vehicle, I've been thinking, what happens if Greenville had, like, a mountain? Like, if you could go up into the mountains and just travel, like, honestly, I want, like, that type of, like, game, like, like games kind of like Westover, because Westover has, like, mountains and hills, like, things like that. No, I don't want to be, like, um, um, Law, um, what is it, um, Los Angeles, because people wanted, like, um, a whole ocean, people wanted, like, um, like, road trip vehicles, things like that, which, there's already road trip vehicles in Greenville, so, yeah, anyways, let's continue, this is a Volkswagen, I thought that was a Honda at first, anyway, the next vehicle we have, it's a 2022 Volkswagen Toes by Car, you guys know him, by a Greenville YouTuber, Here's the fictional name, 2021, bruh, the 2022 Wolfsburg, and I don't even want to try to pronounce that. Anyways, here's the vehicle. I don't know why, but I thought this was a Honda. Sorry for um, you Volkswagen lovers, but I honestly thought it was a Honda. Like, how it's modeled with, like, kind of like this, it kind of looks like a Honda model. Who can agree, honestly? Whenever I saw this vehicle, I honestly thought it was a Honda, like a Honda CVR or something like that, but... Yeah, who can agree? Let me know what your guys' like opinion is on this vehicle. Do you guys think it looks like a Honda, or do you guys think it's just, like, a Volkswagen? I mean, like, the front looks like a, um, Honda, but the back really does not look like it. It kind of looks like a Infiniti. Anyways, um, let's continue. The next place we get to review is the printing office, um, by Keenergy. But yeah, this is almost the main part of the video where I'm going to review, um, this. This is the... Um, printing office. It looks pretty sick, but like one thing I did honestly find out about this look in the back I can zoom in, but like look in the back you guys can see like there's a brand new building like that looks sick um, I don't know what that building looks like it kind of looks like this is out of like um, Near like toys for trucks, but like imagine if toys for trucks had a revamp Like honestly that looks pretty sick. I don't know like what type of building that could be but like um, still, like, that that's kind of like a secret, because you guys don't really see, like, the building in the background. It kind of looks like a Toys for Trucks building type, but I don't know. But yeah, let's continue. Next, we have this, like, this other side of build, the building. The printing office. We have trees and things like that. Honestly, I don't know where this is. You guys can kind of see, like, Granville Drive's right there. But what's this building? I can't tell what that building is. Hmm. Yeah, that kind of looks like Toys for Trucks. Actually, that does look like Toys for Trucks. 
yeah, that is Toys for Trucks. Because, like, this is the road. Like, the road's small. Like, this honestly looks like this is where Toys for Trucks is. There's, like, the main road. And, like, this is Toys for Trucks. So you have to go down the road. And there's the printing office. So, yeah, this honestly looks like Toys for Trucks to me. So, yeah, the Toys for Trucks is right over there. The printing office right here. So, yeah. Here's another look of the printing office. Pretty cool. Okay, there is the, um... Amazon building, the Z Rab. So yeah, honestly, I think this is where the um it's gonna be. It's gonna be near the Amazon building and the Toys for Trucks building. I could be wrong, but like you guys can honestly go ahead and see like there's like cool things. So yeah. So yeah, if you guys can can really tell from here, you guys can already see there's the this is the Greenville Drive, right? And this is honestly Toys for Trucks. So if you come behind Toys for Trucks, like this is road and you go down and there's the printing office. And this is not in game right now, but like still, this is where I think it's going to be like located. So let me know what your guys' opinion is on the printing office. Do you guys really think it looks nice? Honestly, it looks pretty sick. I don't think this is really going to have an interior. Probably just going to be like a prop building, but yeah. Wait. I kind of see like an interior, but I don't think there's actually going to be an interior, but yeah. It looks really sick i really like it let me know what your guys opinion is on the printing office and like can you guys wait for it to be added to greenville but yeah it also this is made by energy i don't know but yeah anyways i hope you guys did enjoy this video today if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe also make sure to join my discord group and also make sure to follow me on twitter at nz series but yeah but as i said in the like the at the start of the video i'm not a game for developer or admin so i have no information on when these updates are being released nor um, do i know like any information about the building where it's located anything like that honestly this is just a um thing like i'm thinking where this is gonna be but it honestly looks like it's gonna be like near toys for trucks i could be wrong so don't take my um my reaction to a full confirm but yeah um i hope you guys did enjoy this video today as i said also in the front uh, start of the video uh if you guys like to honestly see me like review the uh cars like above the camry um i have that in a video that's coming out in a week or so so yeah get ready for that video i recorded that in advance i recorded it like a day ago but a couple days ago but yeah today i'm recording this on may 24th 2021 but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video today and i'll see you guys in the next video see you guys